Good morning. It's me, Majority. Out here today, tireder than a dog uh, sitting in the sun. But I'm here, and I'm making a video about whatever I feel like talking about. You know, this is my expression channel. I just express myself, so do whatever you please, man. Subscribe or don't. Unsubscribe even if you don't like it. But uh, here I am. And I wanted to talk about learning to love YouTube and learning to appreciate it. Appreciating YouTube from a creator's perspective. Because I think that that's something that tends to get lost in the weeds, either by me or just by the community of creators at large. And I think that it's easy to see negativity in your day-to-day -day here on YouTube. So I, I want to leave you with some real positivity, not necessarily false, but things I actually feel that I, I think are good. So people complain a lot about like AdSense or algorithms and all that's fine and dandy if that's your career, but for most of us, it's not. So I've never really had the perspective of what does this look like for me making money? You know, I've, I've thought about that element, but that's not really why I, I make videos in my spare time. I do it mostly as a means of expression, just to express my thoughts and feelings on things I care about. And while this channel has been a bit more flexible over the years and I've never really leaned away from ideas or topics that I care about, I never really focused on it from the professional angle of make it a brand. This is more so me. My new channel is more professional. I'm not here to plug that necessarily. But I, the, the, the point is that I make videos to make videos, not to make money. You get what I'm saying? And so from that framework, I appreciate and have appreciated YouTube as a means to do so. It's really an outlet that I can invest my energy into that I think is healthy. I know that it can be easy to think about how the internet is so bad and we're trapped in these social media spheres and it happens. It's even from a YouTuber's angle, you know, I, I make content, but I also watch content from the same platform that I make content on. So it, you kind of get both with each other. And I think that there's a very strong sense of deliberateness that you need to have to not get sucked into the consumption side. Because on the consumption side, you get a lot of the negativity and a lot of the drama and a lot of the things that that kind of tend to do well. I'm like picking up this blade of grass as I'm thinking through my thoughts here. I'll go real hillbilly style. <laughs> uh, just appreciating the sounds of cars right now. <laughs> there was an ambulance before. Hope y'all don't mind. There's a phone recording. You know, I want one of those mics that everyone's been using now. It's those like fluffy things on their, their mic that connects to their phone. I feel, I feel like y'all would appreciate that, but I don't know what the name of that is. If anybody knows what the portable mic is called, let me know. I've lost my train of thought. If you're lucky, you'll hear a train in this video though. They, they, they do go by sometimes. <laughs> Man, it's hard to do this when you're tired as a dog, man. I flew in a couple days ago and I slept okay last night. I actually was working on uh, one of my scripts for uh, Links of the Past. 
and I was just getting really into it. But that's kind of what I mean. So that's a good segue back, actually. When you have something that you care about, you could just go all in on it. And I know that that can be exhausting sometimes because like we, we all work, right? We all have jobs and then we, we come back and we do these videos and some of us have kids. But I think that's the thing I really appreciate about YouTube as a creator is that I get to just make stuff and not be doing other stuff that would be destructive to me. Things that are destructive to me is, is, is more like getting caught on the internet side of things and, and consuming things. And then also physical consumption of things like alcohol. I'm not gonna lie, having this, I've done this on this channel for like 11 years or so, has kept me from engaging in a lot of those vices. And it's not always been perfect. You know, I, I slip sometimes, but man, if, if I didn't have this as this outlet, I don't know. I don't know what it would be like. It is so hard making relationships in the traditional sense in the world today and while this is not necessarily a substitute i think it's a good venue to have to help at least get some of yourself out there this is an uninterrupted stream of consciousness of me and you've made it this far listening to me that's amazing it shows you care about what i'm saying and i I really am grateful for that, to have people that want to hear what I'm saying. Like, put all this professional stuff aside. To have a space where you are the voice and you are heard, that's not to be understated. A lot of people don't have that. A lot of people, you know, create that for themselves. and. You know what through whatever means it's like i guess let's say twitter or something you post tweets all day and you know you get likes on your tweets i guess that's some people's dopamine rush you know for me it kind of is youtube but i think what comes with youtube is a little bit more how can i say directed requires a bit of skill requires that you have a camera presence a stream of thought a framework and if you really get into the technical side of stuff the branding the editing like it really is a skill building activity that I enjoy and have enjoyed and it's awesome it's really awesome because you know there are tools at our disposal, right? This this tool right here, I could use it to pluck my teeth or I guess I could swallow it and die. <laughs> I don't think anyone's cause of death was a blade of grass though. But the point is this phone right here is, is a tool. It's a tool for either creation or destruction. There are many destructive tendencies that you could engage in on the phone. You know, doom scrolling. I, I was just reading about that earlier. You get sucked into these social medias or the news or whatever, and you just go, do, 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 do. but look at what I'm doing now. Instead, I'm using this to actually tell you something positive, something awesome. You know, and the, the, the drive home point is, and there's a lot to unpack here, but you know, I, I grew up as an only child, more or less. And so a lot of my life has been spent deep in thought and reflection and solitude. And I think that for someone like me who, who really needs that space to, to present themselves, being a creator on YouTube is not a bad idea. And, you know, just who cares about the hits? Who cares about the negative comments? At the end of the day, they're just that. They're just comments. They're just hits. Don't take them for more than that. But just appreciate this as a space for you to be appreciated as a creator. So, you know, I just, I want you to, to go ahead and give some love to some creator today. It doesn't have to be me, but thank them for being vulnerable and coming out on camera or speaking and putting their opinions out there because that's, we are really doing that. We are out here putting ourselves full force forward and it's not easy yeah i think a, a level of courage is needed to do this and uh 
I commend all the creators out there who are willing to do that, you know, and they do it at whatever risk they want to do, you know, whatever framing they want to do for their content. But man, you know, you got to appreciate it for them giving themselves to you. Anyways, kind of a video log of the day. I don't know. I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, yeah, I'll be around. <laughs> Take care, everybody.